Once again, we are live. Just felt like it. We got another laptop into the studio, so we got to get this out fast and furious. Um, I just don't find a better way to do it in terms of the sheer number of laptops versus my time. So uh, I wanted you to see it right away, and we'll get the live reaction as I unbox it. So we got a really good one here today. Hope everybody's doing okay. It's August 4th, 2022, 6.47 p.m. Pacific time. And let's just get right to business today. We got, let's see, 30 of you watching. Do me a favor. We only have three likes, so hit that thumbs up. Let's get this spread out over YouTube. Otherwise, nobody's going to want to watch, and they're not going to know about it. So do me a favor. And if you're already not subscribed, if you're not subscribed to the channel, rather, uh, why not become a subscriber? I've got a lot of great stuff coming in. So I would really appreciate that. It's sort of an impromptu one tonight, only because I just can't get these out fast enough. So, so many things have come into the studio. So I figured let's unbox it. Let's do some live benchmarking and then I can put the formal videos together. And let me know if this is something you like because I'm seeing good numbers in these live unboxings, but uh, trying different things here, something a little bit different than what the other uh, channels are doing. I want to be my own type of thing of course so there you go we got rough user here good to see you uh, android is here what do you believe is better two and one or regular laptops they have their place both of them have their spot where i think they're worth it um we'll talk more about it diego's here good to see you galloping nuns uh i'm using um audio technica uh monitors on me right now and um that's just, you know, for an aside. But of course, yes, I do obviously wear them when I'm hearing. I'm monitoring the audio. All right, so we got uh, 35 of you, and we got this into the studio. This is the Dell Latitude 9430. It's a two-in-one convertible. They also make it in a clamshell version. A lot of big upgrades this year. It's not cheap. It's an enterprise-focused laptop. And I want to make it clear here, when you look at price and stuff like that, just keep in mind enterprises and businesses are going to buy this in bulk. So uh, they're not going to blink at the price. And in fact, if they buy enough of them, they're going to be getting discount discounts. But uh, consumers will also like them. Small to medium businesses will also like them. 
and especially since some of the nice upgrades we're getting this year, we're getting a better camera, uh, obviously 12th gen Intel processors, we're getting um, upgraded displays here and stuff like that. So we're really seeing good stuff. We got DDR5 RAM in this. Uh, we're also seeing uh, hopefully faster SSDs as well. So there we go. Um, yeah, no problem, Rough User. I'm glad you're here. And I think we have 47 of you. So let's get right to business and we'll get to your comments and questions in a moment. But this is it right here. Let's get the unboxing knife. Let's, that's how we do it. We're getting so used to this at this point. <laughs> uh, let me just take the comment off of there because I'm recording this for the, the, for the actual video. Okay. And let's rock and roll, people. Okay, looks like they gave us the pen here. And this pen is the PN7522W. You can see it here. So we'll get to that in a moment. Nice eco-friendly packaging once again. We saw that with the XPS line and they're putting it in the, their business line here. There's nothing else in here. Uh, similar packaging to the XPS. And of course, uh, again, eco-friendly, we like that. Let's uh, take a look at the pen. Now they also sent over a 90 watt uh, power charger, which is separate from this. And I guess it, it will charge even faster, obviously with a 90 watt. I have that here as well. We'll talk about that in a moment. So this is the pen. Let's take that out. Okay, and there's some documentation here, quick start guide, some warranty information. You could see it there. And of course, a two-in-one convertible, the pen is going to come in handy. Now, I'm taking, the, taking it that the pen is a separate purchase. Might be worth it for your digital artist, of course. And then here it is. And uh, feels good. And I guess it charges via USB-C. Here's the uh, cable. And then you get some extra pen tips in there and a pen remover, pen tip remover tool. So we could take the plastic off this. We could find out where it starts and I will be able to take it off. Must be an easy way to do this without having to use my knife. Let me just get it started. <laughs> That's what happens when you do things live, folks. They certainly don't make it easy. Hope I didn't scratch it, but whatever. Got a million of these at this point. Nope, it's good. All right. There's the pen. Okay. And... Again, we'll have to charge it, but uh, Dell. Okay, and let's put that to the side for now, and then let's get to the laptop. Welcome to Dell. Let's do great things together. We saw that last time. This is the unit. Feels good. And again, very nice packaging once again. Very similar to what we saw with the XPS. We got some warranty information, safety and regulatory information. And of course, the startup guide or the setup guide or whatever you want to call it. Typical um, documentation we see with Dell. And, and of course, a very compact 60 watt adapter. Now they did send the 90, we'll look at that in a moment. But this is the same one we saw on the XPS 13 Plus. So nice and compact. We like that here. Easy to travel with. And of course, you get the USB-C cable. Of course, that's going to be included. And you get an extension cord as well. So pretty standard stuff. Let's close this up. 
Okay. Let's put the pen to the side here for now. And let's get to the star of the show. And that would be this. Oh, I like it. It's a graphite color. Very reminiscent of the XPS 13 plus that I have in graphite. It's like probably the same actually. And I'll get to your comments and questions in a moment. Uh, feels premium, very premium, very high end. Of course, you're paying a price here for it, but uh, you can see some venting on the back. Uh, very, very nice improvements here. The uh, looking good. Let's talk about the ports on the left side. That's where we'll start off. We get a Kensington lock right there, HDMI, two USB-C Thunderbolt 4, micro SD card reader, and a 3.5 millimeter microphone headphone combo jack. On the other side is a USB-A port and then some event there. And that's it. A little bit of a fingerprint magnet. Loving this graphite. Let's see. Does this stick anywhere? I don't know if this comes with any. Yeah. I think it sticks there. Okay. Nice. And then, of course, let's give it the one finger test. Oh, yeah. And that's not that easy to do normally with a two in one. Looks gorgeous, people. Wow. Now, this is a 2.5K display or QHD plus. 2560 by 1600, 16 to 10 aspect ratio. And it's supposed to be a very bright display. I believe it's 500 nits. It's also obviously a touch display. Let's see if it's, uh, the pen needs to be charged. Let me charge it real quick. So the pen, and you can see here, has a little USB-C port, and I'm just gonna charge it with a adapter I have right here. Let's put it to the side. And uh, we're looking at, and it's asking me to pair the pen. So let's, let's do that real quick. Let's go here so you can see it there. And let's connect it. There's the pen. Yeah, I, um, Sorry, this is a spur of the moment. I didn't plan this one, to be honest. <laughs> I really didn't. Uh, and there's the pen working. Let it charge up a little bit, okay? And we'll get to the pen in a moment. So that's paired up. Pretty snappy, pretty easy. And uh, obviously, this is a two-in-one convertible. So obviously, with that, you can put it into the different modes. You got the tent mode, great for recipes in the kitchen, consuming media. And then the same could be said for the stand mode. See it from there. And then of course the tablet mode, great for use with the pen. So I have the pen plugged in right now, but you can get the picture just to get an idea. A little bit of heft, it's over three pounds. I think it's like 3.2 pounds. Kind of like what we had yesterday with the Lenovo. Uh, it's substantial, I mean, in the sense that it feels premium. There's no doubt about it. It is. It almost, it's like a convertible XPS. Uh, really nice key travel so far. A uh, nice feel on the keyboard. Uh, so if we look at the keyboard here, um, and we can see here, this is going to double as a fingerprint scanner, the power button. It also has a uh, an IR camera from what I was reading. I think there's an ambient light sensor there. And, uh, and I'll get to your comments and questions in a moment. Nice touchpad. It's got the V Pro. So this is the U series people with V Pro. And obviously businesses will need V Pro for more security features, obviously. And right now the camera's off. So the camera button is on the, I don't know if it's, yeah, I think it's on the keyboard right here. And you can want to see the keyboard up close. There it is. And on the top row, where the F9 button is, if I go function, that should turn on the, yeah, so the camera should be on there. I don't know if there's a physical shutter switch. I don't see a physical. So it's all controlled on the keyboard, okay? And, uh, but it's still showing a red light, so I'm not really sure how this, uh, yeah, so the light goes on there. Uh, we'll play with it. Yeah, I agree. Tech Realm looking sharp. Good to see uh, some good 
familiar faces here. Michael Pepper Tech. That would be pretty interesting, huh? That would be pretty interesting. Premium, definitely. Question from KGL. Uh, hi, Andrew. Is the trackpad mechanical or haptic? This is mechanical. I don't think this is haptic. Yeah, this is a physical touchpad and works pretty well. Let's talk about the display. All right, you can see the display here. Let's go to the settings. And what they sent over is... Let me turn off auto brightness. Yeah, so it's already on. And as far as the scaling, it's a 200% and it's a 2560 by 1600 resolution. So QHD plus and advanced display settings. It's a 60 Hertz display. Okay. Eight bits of color in terms of the color depth and, um, looks good. Looks good. Uh, very, very nice and bright. Let me see how bright it can go. Yeah, that's as bright as it's going to go. But it, looking at it in real life, it is pretty bright. Oh, we got a bunch of you here. 77 already. Good to see everybody. For those joining us late, a little bit of an impromptu one here, uh, folks. But I uh, wanted to get it out and up and about here, up and running on this uh, on this latitude because the latitude is an important enterprise business focused one. Key travels good, rough user. Key travels good. Yeah, feels good. I like it. Let me connect to my network. Feels good. I like the key. The key travels a little bit. Uh, good key travel. A little mushy, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna keep using it. But so far, it's pretty good. It's got a nice backlight on it. And let's see if it connects up to my network. Sometimes it takes a minute. Let me adjust the time, date and time. Because I think it's coming from a different time zone. Um, didn't connect up. Let me just take a look here as we're doing things live. Just want to make sure, still not connecting. Maybe I put the wrong password. That's, I've been known to do that. I've been known to do things like that. If not, we'll restart it sometimes that, so you never know sometimes with this first time setting it up. We had that, I think, with one of the other laptops. I don't remember which one it was. But uh, let me turn the Wi-Fi off and then let me try it again. Because right now it's not connecting to my Wi-Fi. It could be my network. I don't know. Let's see. Connect. Let's see. Let me put my password in. It's taking a long time. We may have to restart it. Not sure what's going on, people. Very pr problematic so far. Let's say hello to a few people while this is trying. To, this is trying to connect here. You can see the the keyboard, and you can see it here. Very nice. <laughs> yep, <Yeah>, probably. <laughs> You're not kidding. <laughs> You're not kidding, and that's that's not a joke. <laughs> Nineteen lives last month. We shooting twenty. This, yeah. So uh, maybe we can try to break the record here. Oh, I think maybe because I had the caps lock on, that could be a big problem. Let me uh, redo it. Hold on. I didn't see if that was on. Let's see. And it's connected, so that was my fault, folks. You could blame me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're connected. All right, so network's connected. Let's change the... Let me get this freaking thing out of here. Let's adjust the date and setting. I just want to make sure we're in the correct time zone. Take it out of central. Let's put it into Pacific. All right. So nice to have the pen. Now, the pen will not stick over here, but it does stick over here. There it goes. You can see it here. 
and uh, very nice graphite color this year. Uh, I like it better than the silver, although this is going to show more fingerprints, but very similar to the graphite we saw in the XPS 13 Plus I unboxed last week. So very, very nice stuff. So this has 10 cores, okay, on this U-series processor. Let me go to the uh, settings, and I can tell you exactly um, what we have here in terms of uh, the system specs here. Let me go to the system specs, and let me plug in the HDMI. And I love having HDMI here. That's so convenient on the laptop itself. I don't need a dongle. And uh, let's take a look real quick. That's really, really convenient. All right, Core i Core i seven twelve sixty five U. It's a ten core processor. That's eight eight uh, efficiency cores and two performance cores. We've seen it before. Sixteen gigabytes of RAM, and I don't believe it. I think it's soldered in. And uh, and then as far as the SSD, we're looking at. Um, let's see what size SSD. Let's go to this PC. It's a 512 gigabyte SSD. And of course, it's going to have integrated Radeon, no, integrated Iris XE graphics. And let's go to the settings. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go to doing this uh, device manager. That's what I wanted. And as we can see here, Iris XE graphics. Um, now, as far as the disk drive, NVMe. And uh, 512 gigabytes. Okay. So let's take some of your comments and questions. 2600, man, they sure are proud of this thing. <laughs> it's expensive. Uh, you've noticed, Michael, how are you doing? I've noticed a few laptops with AMD using 5000 series, but using previous generation reading graphics. Any idea why they're doing that? Um, probably supply issues. It's easier to probably have last year's than the newer ones. They're having a little bit of a tough time getting this stuff out. So that's my guess. But of course, there could be many other factors that play into that. Uh, but I think it's mostly supply, to be honest with you. Um, let's see who else is here. I saw Tech Realm. Thank you. You have to hit the like button, people. We only have 43. We got almost 100 of you watching. What the, what's the deal, people? Um, and here, good to see William here once again. And like you wished for HP Spectre 14, you recently reviewed. It would be nice if they put the USB-C ports on each side of each other instead of being on the same side. Right, I agree. So what he's talking about here is that there are two USB Thunderbolt 4 ports, but they're right next to each other. Let's plug it in. I already have a handy cable here. And these are full function, so they should be start to charge, and this is charging right now. And of course, let's go to the My Dell. I believe it's gonna be the My Dell. Let's see, power. El Dell Power Manager. So this is the commercial. This is geared towards enterprise and commercial business users. Okay, so when you look at the price, you'll understand. And again, they're going to run sales, and they're also going to give discounts for bulk purchases. So, but I like looking at this because we look at its competition, right? The Lenovo ThinkPads. This is who they compete against, and I think it would be only fair for us to do that. Let's go here. So I'm looking at the thermal management. We got optimized, which is what it's on right now. Cool, quiet. Let's put it into the ultra performance. Okay. So that's in the ultra performance. And let me make sure the windows settings, I keep hitting, you know, doing the two, there we go. Power and sleep settings. Let me go to take it out of the balanced and put it into the best performance. Okay. And uh, let's, uh, let me download Geekbench just to get an idea of where we are with this U-series processor. All right, let's go to the cross-platform. Here we go, download Geekbench 5. This will give us a quick and dirty test. The Dell docks use both USB-C ports for their docks for some reason. I guess they need the power, and the throughput. Can you pull up the task manager? I will. I could do it right now. So let's take the RAM is fast, people. Uh, it's going to be DDR5, but let's take a look at it. So let's get to the task manager here. 
and let's go to more details and let's go to performance and the memory is 5200. This is DDR5 5200 megahertz RAM running in dual channel mode, okay? Now, this is integrated Iris XE graphics, so I'm thinking, of course, 96 execution units. And let's, uh, let's go to the download. And let's load up Geekbench, and let's get us, again, the first test, like I said last night, it's going to be uh, taken with a grain of salt because things are running in the background, obviously, with my first boot up here, even though... They'll probably already set it up in advance. Okay. And let's run the CPU benchmark. Again, this has 16 gigabytes, but you can order this with 32, up to 32 of DDR5. And it's the faster RAM we want to see. But with the one we saw last night in that Lenovo, Yo the Lenovo Slim 7 Pro X, that one had a uh, 6,800 megahertz RAM, which is really fast. I mean, this LP DDR5. All right, so good to see everybody here. How is everybody doing? Okay, we've got over 100 again. I can't thank you enough. Let me know, is this something, maybe we'll do a poll. I mean, maybe we should do a poll here. Do you want to see live unboxings? I think most of you do, but I'm wondering, are these overkill? Are you getting sick of me? Let me know. Okay, let me know because we don't. I don't have to do them, but I enjoy doing them and I like the interaction and it serves a dual purpose. I'm also recording this so I'm able to get a lot of the footage I need for use in my videos for B-roll and stuff like that. So it serves a dual purpose and it also benefits you and me, you the audience and me as the creator to actually get more done as a single creator here. Obviously, um, it's more efficient for me. Of course, not everybody li loves live streams, I guess, but I think from the numbers I've been seeing for the past month, everything is on the rise. We're gaining subscribers, we're not losing them, and uh, that's a good sign. So that tells me, number one, the views are up uh, over 50%, and uh, we're gaining a lot of subscribers, so that's good. We're about to hit 129,000 of subscribers, which is really, you know, I, I have to pinch myself sometimes. You like it. Okay, Eric, that's good to hear. Not getting sick of you yet. <laughs> I'm glad, DAVS. All right. Yes, the live unboxings are great. Need to find a way to get the word out. Just stumble upon them. You know, here's the thing. I do them, I do them as things come in, so impromptu. Now, I've set them in advance. I don't see a big difference uh, when, I, when I time them in it like a day in advance Sometimes when I just do an impromptu, I get more people. So I don't know. It's just how YouTube will sp spread it out. Now, the numbers are not great here compared to what we saw. But again, there's a few things at play here. 6884. This is a U-series processor. And this is in more or less in line with what I've been seeing with other U-series. Not the P-series, which is a 28-watt CPU. This is a 15-watt CPU. Uh, but again, I'll run it again without everything connected in a little bit. But let's, uh, let's take a screenshot. Okay, and then let me run the graphics just to get a, uh, an idea of the graphics on this. Okay, so for those wondering, this is the score. And we've seen better multi-core scores, uh, again, on, on, on the P-series. There's no question, and on, of course, the, the, uh, the Ryzen and also the Mac. Question, thank you, William. Uh, do, does the pen charge when magnetically connected? No. So the pen, if you look at it here, has a USB-C port right there, and that's how you charge it. They give you a little cable with that, and you can see it here. Um, you know, it's a, it's a nice pen. And again, I'll put a link in when we're done, but uh, here's the score, 17,641. And that is for the graphics. Again, integrated graphics. Um, now, I want to check out the speed of the disk real quick.
Okay. And we'll get to, I'll try to get to your questions in a moment. Let me just get this downloaded so we can get that going. There it is. And one of these days, I like I said, I'll put it on a disc or a little thumb drive or whatever so we don't keep having to do this, but it sort of fills the, the dead air, so to speak. All right, let's, uh, let's extract it, and we'll get an idea of what this 512 gigabytes is all about, how fast it is. Now, of course, this chipset, like I mentioned in other videos, this will support uh, PCIe Gen 4, which, of course, is faster than Gen 3, but Gen 3, and, and, and for real world, Usage, of course, is not going to, you're not going to see a big difference. I mean, you're not going to notice the difference. Although the speeds uh, we'll see in Gen 4 are actually really good. We'll see, and again, we'll know right away from the read, okay? I'll know pretty much once I see that. Yeah, this is Gen 3, so not surprised. Does this have, uh, this has DDR5 rough user, DDR5 4800 megahertz. And we looked at it earlier in the, um, in the task manager, again, let's take a look at it real quick. Oh, sorry, 5200 megahertz. That's what I wanted to check. It's DDR5 5200 megahertz, okay? And, and I don't know if it's a 2230 drive. I don't know the size of it as far as the physical dimensions, but we can open it up uh, once we're done with this. Maybe we'll have some time tonight. Yes, you're correct, 5200. I mean, I said 4,800. I meant to say 5,200. Okay. So 87 of you watching. We got 59 likes. Question from Jaden's gaming fans. Garage doors and more. Good to see you again. Uh, it, uh, is it PCIe Gen 3 or 4? It's, it's 3. It's Judging from these speeds, it's 3. But, of course, supports Gen 4. God, mosquitoes are eating alive as I try to enjoy them. Nice, nice outside in the back porch. Yeah, don't get uh, bitten too bad by those mosquitoes. Those can be really annoying. That would explain the slower reads or writes. Yeah. I mean, it's 3300 is good. Let's not get carried away. It's a business laptop. It is a business laptop. And they will buy them in bulk. So when you look at, say, a 2700 pr price tag, again, they buy in bulk, they'll get discounts. And a very good selection of ports, William, compared to something like this small XPS. But of course, that's a consumer base, right? That has two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, limited additional ports, no, no uh, headphone jack. This is not the case with this one. This has a nice array with most of them on the left side and that one USB-A on the right. So a nice uh, array of ports. So I'm not complaining. I mean, I'm using the HDMI directly into the unit. So there's nothing to complain about in that regard. While that's doing that, let me see the camera, if it's actually on. I don't know if I have it blocked. So right now it's on. Oh, okay. So that's a feature. Okay, so what I was talking about, it was red here, but that's just for uh, security purposes. But once you activate the camera, that means it'll, it's on. That's a really nice camera. Whoa, hold on. Let's take a look at this. So this is a pretty nice camera. Good job, Dell. Wow, nice and clear. Let's see, 1080p, all right. Can it go higher? Feels like it's even a little, no, it's 1080p. Um, again, I'm using the Windows app. It might even be a higher one, but maybe limited by the Windows app in terms of this built-in camera. Uh, very, very nice. What do you think? I think it's one of the best ones I've seen. Yeah, Carl, right? Let's give a round of applause. We finally have a... Amazing webcam from Dell. I thought I'd never see the day. <laughs> I love you, Dell, but you know, you, your webcams have not been that great. Um, they're still using a 720p webcam on the XPS line, which uh, obviously needs to go to 1080p. Although it is improved this year, I got to give them credit, but I uh, would like to see 1080p probably next year. Surprisingly good. I'm not surprised. Uh, this is a, they worked hard at this. They worked hard at it. And, and, and it's good to see it from Dell. It really is. And that's where the $2,700 went. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. I got to tell you, it's a nice uh, camera. Good to see Christine here. Looks as good as a phone camera. Absolutely. I'm shocked how good this is. Uh, kudos to Dell, everybody. 
Stefan 20p. No, not this one, my friend. Not this one. Better camera than the XPS. Absolutely, William. This is much better. Not that much bigger. So what we have here is a 14-inch uh, display. It's a 2560 by 1600. It's a QHD plus 16 to 10 aspect ratio. And this will definitely look sharp in Zoom meetings. There's no question. I, you know, I don't think it's a, it's a, let me look at the specs here. Let's go here. Um, let's actually, uh, well, let me, let me read it to you because the camera, according to the Dell's website, full HD plus IR, meaning it's, uh, it's good for, um, face recognition with windows. Hello, electromagnetic shutter. That's why when I turned it off and if we look at it here, you might be able to see it. Actually, if I go to the, this one, you probably see it better. Maybe let's see if I turn off the camera, it now goes red hard to see it. In fact, what I can do is show you through my other camera here. Just give me a second. So what's happening is, and, and I'll, let me switch it. Let me bring it onto the stream here. So what's happening here, there you can see it. There's the, there's the, uh, it's a red dot, and there's the other sensor. But if I hit the camera button on the keyboard, that turns it on and off. But if I actually turn on the camera on the, on the laptop, what happens is, look, it goes back on. And it goes from red to a white LED light. You can see how messy it is back there. But there it is. Okay, so that's that. Can take that off <laughs> um but there there it is and, and to me that's a pretty uh pretty interesting security feature because that'll make sure nobody's spying on you right so it's not a qhd camera but it is a really nice full hd it's a really nice full hd camera all right so that's uh that's the camera so good job uh, on that and here we get our score and it's uh Pretty decent reads and writes. I mean, I'm not going to complain too much. I mean, that's, you know, that's fast enough for any user. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, again, it does support Gen 4 if you're looking for it. Now, another real quick one we can do. Let me go to Google. Let's, uh, let's, go, to, um, let's go to Google's website. And then, of course, let's go to Cinebench. Let's do the R15. That's a quick and dirty one. And then maybe we'll get to the others depending on our time frame here tonight. Hope everybody's doing okay. A little bit of impromptu. Uh, but very, very sharp-looking laptop here. Nice surprise here, especially for a business laptop. And I love this graphite here. Looks really good. It looks really good. And, of course, it's a convertible. I'm, I'm going to do this right-handed. And um, let's get this downloaded. And you can see it can go, you can, you can put it in pretty much, it's a bright display. This is a 500 nit display. This is a 500 nit display. All right. Any other questions if you want while this is downloading? Let me know. So it's uh, Intel Core i7 1265U. It's the U series, 15 watts, 10 cores. That's eight efficiency cores, two performance cores. That's different from the P series. Now the P series, interestingly, has it's a 28 watt CPU with 12 cores, or it could even be 14 if you go to the 1280P, two extra cores. But for the most part, the 1260 obviously has 12 cores. That's eight efficiency cores, four performance cores. I am left-handed. What about it? <laughs> He's left-handed. I trusted him. So uh, I am left-handed. Will you be reviewing the Yoga uh, 7 Gen 7 with Ryzen 6000? If they send it to me, I don't know what's going on with them. I think other people, did they get it? I don't know. Kind of surprised, but I'm not really sure what's going on. I got so many laptops, I can't even stop to think at this point. There's so many. But uh, pretty interesting stuff. All right, so... This is uh, looking good so far. All metal, solid. 
and I believe it has quad speakers. Let me just check. Audio and speakers. Stereo speakers. I'm sorry. Stereo. Uh, quad array mics, stereo speakers with Realtek Wave Max Audio, 10 watt quad array microphones. Okay. So the microphones are going to probably be really good. I'll, of course, I'll give you an example in the upcoming video. And uh, live stream's looking okay. Okay. Do you prefer this Ultrabook or the Dell XPS 13 Plus? Well, this is a little different, right? So this is a geared towards business and commercial users. It's a two-in-one convertible. There's pen support on this one. Uh, it's hard to say, like, you know, it just depends on what you need. If you need ports, I would go with this. Uh, it's gorgeous. Uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat. This is really gorgeous. I like what they did here. Do you like the chiclet style keys? Let me know. Let me know. So let's uh, let's get this set up. And um, let's let's accept the terms in there, and then let's run that. All right, so that's running there, and then I'll put myself down there. So uh, would this be something, according to One Bad Man Van, would this be something that you would recommend for an average user giving its price? The 13 Plus seems like a bargain compared to this. Uh, again, it's a business-focused laptop. I would recommend it to a consumer who's willing to pay it. I mean, it is a little bit much to pay, I'll be honest, but... If they would make a Dell XPS 13 like this or 14 convertible, I mean, in the XPS line, similar to this with a little bit of the uh, the style of the XPS, that would be even better. But uh, you have this laptop and it's a beast. Yes, Silk 95 has it. I mean, it's gorgeous. I mean, there's no doubt about it. This is really gorgeous. Um, you can see it here. This is one of the nicer two-in-ones I've seen. It's got a really nice small bezels on it. Uh, excellent camera. Got to give them credit. That camera was awesome. And uh, it's not something we normally see every day. So it did a pretty decent job in terms of the graphics. So 101.68, pretty in line with other Iris XE. That's not bad. And then, of course, let's run the CPU test. So, better, okay, better comparison. The Gen 9 i9, 9i, this is Lenovo, Yoga 9i, Gen 7. Both are convertibles. The 9i has beefier specs and has a 1080p camera. That's a tough one because the that's a really good consumer-based laptop, but can hold its own, obviously. Uh, in fact, that's a P-series, so that's going to have better performance. So yes, be for your specs. No, I would prefer that for the average consumer, obviously the Lenovo Yoga 9i. But for a business user carrying this around, this is gonna give you a few features like security features that a V Pro would give you. And that's why this is gonna be enterprise business focused on this one that you don't get on something like the Yoga 9i Gen 7. That's a consumer based. And of course, you can get it with OLED. That's of course, that goes without saying. So again, totally different audience, uh, one or the other. But of course, you know, you can still do the same kind of things on it. It just may not be as secure. That's the thing. Uh, 1341, that's a decent score. Again, we're not expecting this to be a powerhouse in performance. It's a balanced all around uh two in one convertible. So we're let's, you know, we're gonna keep it for, at that. So let me go real quick. Let me go to Google and let me go to let me go to the R20. And let me download it to Windows. Sometimes it starts on its own, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it takes about a minute. There it is. Okay. So Touch a uh, question from Khalid Muhammad Mahmoud. I have a question. Is touch of a touchscreen laptop working in full lifespan long enough like a smartphone? If I think I get your what you're saying is, will it last like for years? I, yeah, I don't see why not. I mean, I have touch laptops that are here for years and they work fine. Yeah. 
I haven't heard of a touchscreen failing. I heard drivers failing sometimes that, but the physical touchscreen should work. I mean, but like anything, anything could happen. I mean, you know, you're bound to happen at some point, but I haven't heard too many of that. And according to one bad man van, I haven't heard of touchscreen failing earlier than non-touch. Um, unless you're really rough with the screen, most, uh, but most touch screens have glass to help with the durability. This is a very premium glass. Uh, I'm sure this is Gorilla Glass surrounding this. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Yeah, Santiago, I think it's a pretty amazing laptop so far. Very expensive, but a very nice uh, business enterprise focus. And I'm going to keep harping on that. When you look at the price, remember who's buying this. They're not going to blink twice in the buying department of some of these big corporations, okay? So just keep that in mind. And again, if they're buying in bulk, they're going to get discounts. I can guarantee you that. But it's fun to still look at this stuff. And of course, it's important for the business users that are part of our channel here. We got a nice, sizable, uh, business-focused uh, community here, and they want to see this. And of course, I would be remiss if I didn't do Dell's Latitude as I would do ThinkPad from Lenovo. And of course, HP with their business line, which just escapes me right now. What's their business line? Oh my God, we got the Z, the Z, the Z series, right? So... And those are professional grade and stuff. And they have their other um, their other lines as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, I would be remiss if I didn't look at this. So let me, uh, let me go here and open that up. Let's accept the terms and conditions and let's run this freaking test. Elite book, that's what I wanted to say, of course. And I've reviewed my share of the elite book. Thank you, uh, Nick013. I'm, I'm getting old. People, I'm getting old. Don't you see I'm an old man? Uh, all you youngins are, are taking over, but I'm still holding strong. And I'm, and I'm doing things differently here. Yeah, screw it. We're doing live streams. Screw it. Screw it all. We're doing it. We're doing it live. So there you go. <laughs> so all kidding aside, I mean, I am exhausted, but you know what? This is an easier way for me to get it out to you. 29 isn't all. <laughs> yeah <laughs> what was it william <laughs> the 25th anniversary of my what 29th birthday whatever it was uh you're not old you have plenty of centuries left oh my god people are too kind too kind your output isn't bad though <laughs> i'm on overdrive my friend i am on overdrive uh is it so does it support wi-fi 6e if you have enough time, please do speed test. Uh, we could do a speed test. Um, let's, uh, but oh, you know, my router, I just got the Wi-Fi 6E router in, but I didn't connect it because I'm doing a video on it. All right, but anyway, we'll, we'll check it anyway. Um, it supports, uh, let's see the wireless. Yes, it's Wi-Fi 6E, it's Intel, and uh, Bluetooth 5.2, for those wondering. Now, you know what's interesting? I don't see an option for, uh, Wireless WAN, like uh, 5G or 4G, I don't see an option for that, which would be counterintuitive because I think they would want to compete with the ThinkPads, which do offer 4G and 5G. So interesting. I, I should ask Dell about that. That's uh, pretty interesting. Now, it does have a three-cell 60-watt-hour battery. It does support express charge. Weight, by the way, for the 2-in-1 is 3.2 pounds or 1.44 kilograms. For the clamshell, again, this also comes in clamshell, 2.8 pounds or 1.29 kilograms. And of course, a little bit heavier on the uh, two-in-one. All right, we got a pretty decent score. Okay, that's all right. More in line with others we've seen in this category. And then, of course, uh, we can do the Cinebench R23. So I'm glad you uh, people like it uh, doing these live streams. You know, they're not that easy, but it does serve a couple of purposes, like I said. And it, here we go. 22nd anniversary of my 28th birthday. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, William. In other words, I'm freaking old. Please do a browser benchmark test. Okay. We can do, what is it? The speedometer? Is that the one you want me to do? Maybe we could do that real quick. 
No, what was it called? A speedometer? What is it? Um, let me go to Google. I hate this freaking... And we'll get to that super chat in a moment. Uh, so what is the browser benchmark? Is it browser benchmark? What was the one that uh, Lon does? He does this, was it the speedometer? I don't remember. Uh, let me know, people. Super chat from uh, One Bad Man Van. All right. Six six ninety nine Canadian. This is all that's left in my bank account after convincing me to buy the Lenovo last night. So yeah, let us know when you get it. Let's know what you think about it. Now, I, I'm rerunning some of the benchmarks. I'm seeing a little bit better than what I saw last night, which is not surprising. I did my battery test, but I don't want to give it away. Speedometer, that's it, that's it. Um, I don't want to give it away yet. What do you think? Do you think it was good? It was decent. I got to say it was pretty decent. Not the best I've seen, though, but it's pretty decent. So let me go to the speedometer. Yeah, here it is. All right, let's uh, let's run it. I don't know if anything else. So let's just run this. Tell me if it's a good score. No, I, I mean, it's not bad. It's good. It's good. But don't, don't forget, there's a lot of things going on with that laptop. Uh, but I did get over 10 hours on my test. But again, I'm thinking maybe eight, maybe nine hours on that depending on what you're doing. But again, everybody's use case a little bit different. All metal, my friend, all metal. Metal and glass, my friend, metal and glass. All right, let, this is doing the speed armor. It's giving me a headache. <laughs> it's, it's called this flashing stuff. Um, 243, is that a good score? I guess it's a decent score, I would imagine. Is that a, is that a good score? I think it's decent, right? I don't know. Ask Lon Seidman, I know he does that, that speed. I should be doing them. Let's take another laptop and we can uh, we can compare it. So let's take the Z13 and run the same test if I have juice in it. Uh, I don't know if I have juice in this one. Let me see. I do have my full HD, actually, we'll come back to that one. I do have my Dell here. This is the full HD one, a little full of fingerprints. It's actually a pretty good score for U series. Okay, so this will be P series. This is the Core i5. And oh, I left the other one again on my desk in my office, which is the 1260p. It's okay, not good compared to MacBook though. And I have the MacBook here, we can do the, I think that did like 400 didn't it do like when we ran at that time uh let me close that let me so so i'm not even i don't even know what mode it's in but just to give us a little bit of an idea here oh we got some spam here let's get rid of it I got it. I just banned naked and have a good time. Okay. I could find love. I didn't know that. Ask my wife about that. May I ask what your full time job is? I remember you once saying you work as a lawyer, but I'm not sure if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, I'm in the legal field and, um, what the hell is this? It's like a dinosaur. <laughs> what, what's going on, Dell? All right, let's rerun it. I mean, this must be some kind of error. There's something going on with my the XPS 13 Plus. You missed the unboxing, but I'm going to keep it up, Gamer Play. Gonna, gamer Play is 567. High 300 to low 400 for the Air 2. I have the Air 2 here. i got to plug that in, by the way. I think we had over like 400 on that when we ran it last time. Oh, the battery saver is on on this one. It's not going to have the most. It's probably not on full p power here. So it might not have the best result here. But let's just see what it comes up with. And then maybe we'll get the Mac on.
But what I'll do is I'll plug this in also so we can get an idea. Again, this all happens live. I mean, that's what happens, you know. Better to run while plugged in. I agree, RS. This is not a fair test. This is this is plugged in. This is not. I just wanted to get a, just to, just to see for fun. But we'll plug it in and run again. Yeah, 112 is terrible. Let's plug it in. So let's take this plug and then we'll get the Mac and just just to, just for fun. So now it's plugged in and let me put it into the power mode here. So on best performance and then if I go to my Dell So we go into my Dell app and uh, let's go to power. I just want to make sure it's on the power mode, settings, thermal. Yeah, ultra performance. Okay, that's what I want to make sure. Let's test it again plugged in. So 112, not great. Okay. And then we'll plug in the, the uh, one with the AMD on that. All right. Can we weigh it? I don't have a scale here. Not with me. That was on battery, right. One advantage I've seen on the AMD 6000 is they actually maintain most of their performance while on battery, which wasn't the case with the 5000, right? But with the 6000, maybe we'll see better performance on battery. I should start checking that, of course. Um, but while that's running, we can plug in that one when we get a chance. I only have one plug available. And the Mac, I think, got over 400 on the Air 2. So 154 is not great. That's not great. This is better. Interesting. What do you think is going on with that? And uh, let's do this one. So this is the Z13. Okay. And let's go to the So when, before I do that, let's just make sure what settings it's on, best performance. And then with this one, that's controlled by Windows, so I should be okay. So this is doing its test. That's not good. I'm, I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Yeah, so the big sell... The big sell for the 6,000 versus the 5,000 is so much about the raw performance, but way better efficiency. Yeah, and I'm seeing it actually uh, on this one. And by the way, the video is done. I'm going to release it sometime early morning, early afternoon tomorrow. Mid, mid, mid morning, early afternoon tomorrow. I just have to do my intro and outro, and then we're in. We're good on this laptop, which I'm loving. So this one should be, looks like it's blowing through it a lot faster actually. This is the Ryzen six uh, Ryzen seven Pro sixty eight fifty, uh, not as good. So this did really good. What the hell's maybe low battery? Yeah, it's on. It's got a low battery. Yeah, that seems low. Yeah, it does seem low. This one seems low. Let's get the Mac. Now I'm obsessed with this. So this is the MacBook Air. Probably the first time I'm plugging it in. So this is the MacBook Air. Look, this this turned into a goddamn speed test. So let's go to Okay. And this we plugged in. And we're starting the test. Get the Snapdragon. <laughs> I think we did it actually. Carl, look in the last live stream we did on the Snapdragon one. I, and I have it here. We could do it next. That's like a hundred or whatever it was. It wasn't uh so this one, oops, this one had 243. That one had 154, 149, 401. Look at that. So the Mac is the winner. Give give it up for the M2 chip. Again, doesn't take into account thermal throttle. <laughs> Give it up for the M2. The winner. So Ryzen 7 Pro 6850U. Let me test again. And let me plug that in. 
Mac is on battery right now. It's low battery, but let's test it again. I, I'm just curious why these are so low. And I have it all in the full performance. It could be because the battery's low. could be because the battery's low, but it shouldn't make a difference. All right, let me get the Snapdragon. And the thing, like, I don't know if it has charge, but this thing goes forever. I don't even have room here. Let's the Mac was the winner. Let's put that down for now. Four was a four hundred one or whatever it was. Uh, this thing is like a sips battery. I, I haven't like I haven't used it in a day or so, but uh, this thing is a battery champ. So one forty two now it went worse. It got worse. This I don't think matters if you're plugged in or not with the Snapdragon, but let's let it boot up. Let's plug it in just for just in case. Oh, actually, plenty of battery on this, but anyway, whatever. Let's keep it plugged in. So I'm gonna go. Actually, I'm gonna go get it here. Speed, speedometer, speedometer, whatever they call it. Browser bench. Here we go. So this is Snapdragon 8CX Gen 3, Windows on ARM. It's If the charge is plugged in and charging, yeah, it was charging. I have one plug here, so sharing it between all of them. I'm sitting here with an M1 uh, iPad and getting a score of 298. <laughs> That's a, yeah, they put that, that was overkill. Uh, so far, the Mac is the best, best at over 400. This is a Snapdragon laptop, people. Gen, Gen 3, HCX Gen 3. Uh, far surpassed my expectations. Uh, excellent battery life. Decent performance. Uh, again, equivalent, I would say, Core i5, 11th Gen. That's how good it's been. And it just runs and runs and runs. And it's got 5G. I mean, I'm loving it. Check out my video, people. Uh, you can get over 19 hours on this. I did. And really, if you don't even put any battery saving measures over 15 hours, that's how good it is. So 98, I think we got over 100 last time. But again, very close. Again, not that much behind that. Um, pretty interesting. Okay. So this one did actually better than all the other windows, but the Mac did the best on that. So I'm not really sure why, but uh, that's the browser test. What is that ThinkPad model? Okay, people, let's. If you want to look at it? It's the uh, X13 S. It's the ThinkPad X13 S Gen One. And uh, let me test it again. I just want. I'm just curious. Let me just make sure the power savings is not on. Yeah, it's best performance. Let's see if this, and it's pretty snappy. I mean, you know, as you can see here, let me go to the device power. Yeah, it's powered by the windows. Uh, so that I just wanted to make sure that we're not missing any setting. Uh, has 5G? Uh, no, I don't see an option for that, but I didn't open it up yet. Maybe we can open it up. Let me take a look at the bottom of it. Let me unhook this. Okay. Put the pen over here for now. Yeah, I'm running it on edge. That's why I did edge. Christine. Okay. So. Just want to see. So. Looks like it's Phillips head screws. I can remove it now if you want, but I, I could leave it for the video. Let me see. The M series Max do very well because they have really good single core performance. Yes, I saw very good. Yeah, 1900. Yep, yep. That is correct. That's why it did a lot better. Uh, MacBooks have set the bar so high it's not funny. Depends on what it is. Z13 looks so fucking good. Yeah, it looks great. Love it. I've been loving this laptop. Performance is very good. Ryzen 7 Pro 6850U. That one has the Core i7-1265U with vPro. This one has a Snapdragon 8CX Gen 3. Uh, Gen 3. And then, of course, this one. Um, 
I'm sorry, that one has the Core i5-1240P. That's a 28-watt CPU, my mistake. This is the one I meant to say, it had the 1265U Core i7. This is gorgeous, this display, by the way. Uh, let me shut it down, and then let's see if we can open it up. So let me put these off the desk here, table. I just want to see what's inside. Oh, I missed some super chats here. So let me go back before I open this up. Let me, before I forget, I saw a super chat, chat earlier. Where is it? So one bad man, man at 699. I saw that. Thank you. Okay. And I saw another one. If I forgot your super chat, let me know. Here's Olivia Pena. Good to see you, my friend. So you gave me $20, which is really nice. If I didn't already get the book too, I would be jumping all over this. Also, last Samsung laptop I buy, they lost the Note 20 Ultra I traded in, just washed their hands off and charged my PayPal. Yeah, uh, if you ever heard my nightmare scenario, uh, terrible Samsung. I don't know what shenanigans are going on. They're, they're playing games over there with their trade-in programs and stuff like that. Um, you're not the only one. Yeah, you're not the only one. I had a big problem with my, uh, with my, um, fold two. I don't know if you remember I did that. Uh, love you too, Ang Rashid. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, no, I've had issues. Sorry. Let me get my kit here. Hold on. Let's open this sucker up. All right, so this looks like it's uh, Phillips head screws here. Let's try this one first. Okay. And I don't know if they're captive or not. I think they might be. So this looks like it's captive. Good. Again, a lot of these business um, laptops have captive screws, which I like to see. Makes it a lot easier and prevents you from losing it. Those screws, which are easy to lose sometimes. I've lost my share, as I mentioned that last live stream or two live streams ago. I don't know. They're all captive. I think they are. Seems like it. Okay. Here's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in total. I'm probably sh pretty sure the, the RAM is uh, soldered in. I'm pretty sure of that. The SSD, would I anticipate? I don't know what's physical dimensions of it, so we'll see. If it's anything like last year. And uh, pretty easy. That was one of the easier ones, okay? And this is all metal. And isn't she pretty? Isn't she pretty? Okay, so SSD is right here, and it is a small one. But it looks like it's room for a bigger one if you wanted to, maybe, I don't know. Uh, this looks like this could be a... A second slot. Is that a second slot maybe for 5G? It didn't advertise, but I wouldn't be surprised since it is a consumer, a business commercial laptop. Uh, I'm going to have to find out. That looks like an M.2 there. And what I'm talking about is right there. Um, DDR5 RAM, it's soldered in. Reusable. What does that mean, reusable? Yeah, so it's soldered in. You can see the, the, the modules there. You can see it there. This is reusable. So there's the RAM underneath, and there's the heat sinks. Pretty interesting. Uh, one fan. And that is 5G. You're right, David. 
That is for 5G. So I don't see any antenna leads. So I don't know if you could put it. Maybe there are. What is this? No. I, I, I Maybe you can put your own 5G. I don't know. But it's an option, obviously, because there's room there. Now, where's the Wi-Fi card? Is that soldered in? Yeah, there it is. So the Wi-Fi soldered in. It's right there. So very interesting. So this SSD is removable. And longer post time may occur if battery cable was disconnected. Oh, okay. I, they're just telling you. You can read that there. Anyway. Uh, nicely done, engineers here. Looks gorgeous. Okay. Two speakers there. 59.6 watt hour battery. I want to look at the charge, the 90 watt charge. I forgot to do that. Let's take a look at it. But that's the that's the that's what it looks like. Let me uh this is for the video. I need to get a shot of it. Okay. All right, let me put it back on. Nice and pretty. Wrong way, of course. This should just snap back right back on. Very easy. They made it super easy. Uh, very good job, Dell. Very good job. All right. And all you just need to do is loosen. Again, you're not going to lose any screws. They're captive, which I like. And they're Phillips head. So if you're in the in the in the buying department or IT department, you need to swap out SSDs or whatever. You can get inside this very easily to service this, which is really good. There's eight total. See four, six, eight. Yep. Okay. That's the iFixit case, uh, kit rather. I don't know what I would do without it, but uh, there it is. So Nadine is saying, so many 5G capable now, but 5G is taking long to be available. Yeah. And it's pathetic, some of the speeds I'm seeing here in Las Vegas on 5G. How long have we been on? With 97 of you, and it's already an hour and 12 minutes. Holy crap. Wow. Again, time goes by when you're having fun. Time flies. So that's the story of the internals. But we did, we did some investigation here. And it seems like there is a spot for 5G. So I don't know if they're offering that. Let me look at their website. And according to this, they're not offering it with this. I'm not really sure if it's something you have to order in bulk. I, I don't know. I'm going to ask my rep at Dell to see what that's about. Because I don't see that as an option here. So... Do you prefer XPS over Latitude? They're different. One is a consumer-based, the XPS, and then the other is, uh, of course, commercial-based. And I love having the ability to put it into the different modes here. So if you want to do presentations, if you want to do the stand mode like here, tent mode I could just showed you, but of course I could always use it with the pen. So I haven't even tested the pen really. Um, why did that go off? That's not good. Did I loosen something when I put it back on? There it is. Okay. I guess it was updating something in the background. Got me a little bit nervous there. Um, it's also going to have security features. Now it also has the Dell optimizer, which supposedly learns um, how you use it and optimizes it. Obviously, as the name suggests, there's some updates I need to run on this. Um, so we'll see. 
Yeah, 3.2 pounds, 1.44 kilograms, I believe, according to the specs. So do I prefer one of the over the other, Tom? No, I think they both have their place for their intended audience. Um, this is a business laptop. Hence, that's why we saw room for 5G when we just opened it up. And Tom is watching the live after a really long time due to time zones. I'm sorry, I can't please everyone in terms of the time. That, you know, I just don't know. I tried all different times. This is the time that works for me, but the good news is I keep them up as replays. So for everybody who wants to watch it, they can watch it. I mean, right now we're getting some pretty good traction, so we'll see. All right. Um, we're close to 100 likes. Can we get four more likes? We have 96. Can we get there? That would be nice. I have the Snapdragon X55 Global 5G with eSIM. Oh, so you do have it. Okay, that's good. And according to David, it's nice. Bought the two-in-one with the pen. Looks rugged. Nice uh, login options. I need to wait for a sale price, though. Great review. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, this is better than the XPS, according to William. XPS is pricey and gives one a mediocre camera and limited ports. For practical sense, this is a much uh, more practical device, and it's a beautiful device as well. Yeah, you got all the ports, what he's talking about, and we can look at them here. Uh, you can see it here. There's a HDMI, and I could probably zoom in here, although it gets a little bit darker, but you can see it here. There's a Kensington Lot H HDMI, two Thunderbolt 4, micro SD card, a S uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and a USB-A port right there. Okay. And it's a really bright display. So you like the NVX360. This is a little bit more premium, to be honest. Yeah, please don't forget, people. Listen to William. He knows what he's doing. And we got, by the way, we got over 102 likes. Thank you. It makes my, it strokes my ego. Thank you. It is not OLED, it's IPS. And that's the other thing. If you want OLED, that is what the XPS can offer. Cannot, does, they do not offer it on this. I'm still, they do offer a, uh, another IPS, they, a full HD plus. 1920 by 1200, but this is the upgraded display with a higher resolution, 2560 by 1600, which of course is 16 to 10 as well. Thank you. I was looking forward to this review. When will you post a review? What about its performance? Is camera full HD? Everything else, yeah, we looked at the camera earlier. It is fantastic. Probably one of the best ones I've seen. Uh, and I can give you a quick example of it. I liked it so much, I want to show it again. So if you want to see what it looks like, plug it in. And let me plug this back in just for, okay. And here's what it looks like. This is probably the best one I've seen uh, this year. That's how good it is. <laughs> is uh, better off with an iPad Pro or a TV, okay, a TV, Tom, all right, <laughs> it depends, I use an iPad Pro every day, by the way, the port seems, options seem to be the best so far, ports are great, um, no full size SD card, but micro SD card, but this is the camera, hopefully they will give it some nice quality mics to go with it, I, I believe it is, in fact, I'm going to record the video, for use in the upcoming video, in my upcoming review. So give me a second.
four, three, two, one. So this is the front facing camera on the brand new Dell Latitude 9430 two in one here for 2022. And what you're looking at is a really nice webcam. It's a 1080p webcam. IR, meaning you can log in with face recognition. There's also a audio optimization enabled. Okay, that's a good thing. Uh, this is also a camera that has a lot of security features. We'll get into it in the video. But as far as the video quality, it's excellent. What do you think about the audio quality of the Ray mics? Let me know in the comment section below. Now the power button doubles as a fingerprint scanner. That allows you to log in with Windows Hello for faster login, of course. And of course, this is an IR camera that allows you to log in with face recognition. Again, I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, a little bit. Okay, sorry. A little bit behind the scenes. Now, let me play it back. Hopefully, this connection to the HDMI didn't screw things up. But it did do uh, audio optimization. So let me see. You won't be able to hear this. So let me, I don't think. So hold on, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to unplug it, hold on. I, Dell Latitude 9430, two in one here for 2022. And what you're looking at is a really nice webcam. It's a 1080p webcam, IR, meaning you can log in with face recognition. There's also a Audio optimization enabled. Okay, that's a good thing. Uh, this is also a camera that has a... Um, it's okay. I've, I've heard better, but it's I've certainly heard worse. It's actually pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Uh, they're not extraordinary, but they're pretty decent. So very, very interesting. Very interesting. Is this going to be the main review video? Is this part going to go in? Maybe. <laughs> That's one of the benefits of me doing these live because it's live unboxing. I can take part of it's being recorded and I'm able to take part of this and use some of it, not all of it, of course, in the upcoming video. So it, it serves a purpose here. Very crisp camera, warm color, not overly red. Audio seems like a little far away from the mic. Uh, I always feel weird. So let me ask you a question. Were you able to hear that through the HDMI when I had it on? So can you hear this? Let me do an experiment because I'm not sure. Will you be able to hear this? Because uh, let me go back to the video. Let me know if you can hear this. And let me put myself down there. Uh, let me go back to the rec pictures camera roll. Can you hear this? Cause I don't know if it does, uh, come through, through that HDMI, but are you here? Are you able to hear that? Cause I can't, is it silent for you? If this is silent, let me know. Uh, I'm just curious cause I have it connected through. You cannot hear it. Okay. That's what I thought. But you could hear it when I took it off. Yeah, that's what I thought. The reason being is because the sound is. Yeah, see. A lot of security features. We'll get into it in the Imagine video. Here. But as far as the video quality, it's excellent. What do you think about the audio quality of the Ray mics? Let me know in the comment section below. Now the power button doubles as a fingerprint scanner that allows you to log in with Windows. Hello. Actually, sounds pretty decent. Not bad. Course. And of course, this is an IR. So you could see my five o'clock shadow. <laughs> <laughs> which is permanent pretty much. I could shave and then I would probably have to shave again another hour later. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was silent because it was connected via the uh, HDMI, which is this cable. Yeah, no, William, I, thank you. I, I'm a little bit behind in the in the chat because of the delay. But uh, yeah, so that's, I just wanted to ask because I wasn't sure, uh, but obviously you could not hear it. That, that makes sense. He has about 17, uh, 1,700 main devices right now. Yes, I have a lot of devices. The replay sounded better. Yeah, very good. This is very good. Very good. Oh, wow. What a fun times, people. Um, so you, I think you guys like these, right? You like me doing these live streams. Okay. The keyboard, um, keyboard's good on this. Uh, I have to do more testing. It's not ThinkPad though. I could tell you that right now. It's 
not a ThinkPad keyboard, but it's a good keyboard. Yeah, so many laptops, Tech Realm. Not you're not kidding. And that's one of the reasons, like I said, one of the reasons I want to do them live, these unboxings, and get some of this testing done. Kill two birds with one stone. One, you get to see how I make the videos. And number two, you get to see it like with me at the same time. So you get an instant reaction uh, live as it happens, good or bad. So I think that's kind of cool. I'm going to ban, uh, we got to ban some more of these naked, lonely people or whatever they're fr freaking trying to scam you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I blocked Olivia. I blocked them. I blocked them. They keep trying. I'm glad, William, you like it. I, when you guys get sick of me, let me know because I get sick of myself sometimes. <laughs> Naked ladies are back. Yeah, if, if you're lonely, uh, people who are lonely and want to have fun, according to that, who we just banned, uh, I'll let you know and I, we can arrange something. Okay. <laughs> Now the party, the party, the after party. It's the after party. Kick him off the live. No, they're gone. I already banned them. Whatever that crap was. These bots are a big problem on YouTube, and I don't think they've done anything to rem remedy the situation. I know a lot of other creators have complained. It's just ridiculous. Do you classify Latitude as a class above XPS? It's a, it's a it's a commercial. It's not above or below its its own thing. It's a commercial business laptop. It'll compete with the likes of the uh, Elite Books from HP or Lenovo's ThinkPad line. That's as simple as that. Uh, you know, the XPS is very, very high end, very premium, but you don't get the ports you get here. You do get a better display options on that one, but this is a really nice QHD Plus display. Uh, 500 nits of brightness. It's gorgeous. Retail price, I we can see it's 2700 uh 2729 as tested. Very expensive, but again, businesses will not blink twice at the price. They're going to buy these in bulk and um they they're going to just get discounts. It's just, it's just when you buy that many, Dell is going to give you discounts. Uh but it's very very nice and I'm loving this graphite color this time around. Uh very very similar if not the same as the XPS Plus graphite that I uh, took delivery of the other day. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it's about 27, uh, 29 altogether. Core i5, uh, sorry, Core i7, 1265U. It's got 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5, 5200 megahertz RAM. It can go up to 32 if you wanted to. It's got 512 gigabytes of uh, PCIe Gen 3 SSD storage, class 35. It's got integrated Iris XE graphics. I would believe it's 96 execution units. Uh, Intel V Pro enterprise technology. So you get a lot of those advanced security features that we're talking about. Now, this is the QHD Plus 2560 by 1600, a touch display, IR camera, mic shutter, safe shutter, comfort view display. You could also go down to a 1920 by 1200 full HD Plus. So a lot of them. Three cell, 60 watt hour battery. And the one thing I want to do is show you the other power adapter they sent along. I meant to do this earlier. So uh, we can put this over here and let's, uh, let's open this one up. And, and this is a little bit bigger, but it's more in line, I think, with the XPS that we saw on the 15. Yeah. So this is the 90 watt power adapter and it is also USB-C. I think we've seen it before, very similar to what we saw, a little bit less wattage than the XPS 15 power adapter. Uh, I'm glad they sent that along as well. So here's the power uh, cord. Uh, let me close this. And uh, so that's another adapter option you can go with. And it's a, it's a bigger definitely than the, the 60 watt we saw that we very similar to the one we saw on the XPS 13 plus. In fact, it's identical. So there you go. All right, dude, is it possible for you to collab with other tech reviewers as well and start some sort of podcast? Your knowledge and dedication is next level and your content is very professional. Yeah, I'm open to it. Uh, if I can find the time. 
I've been talking to just Josh to do about doing something. We've been trying to coordinate something, but hopefully we'll be able to at least do some kind of collaboration. We've, you know, I'm in, con in contact with him, of course. Uh, he's a great channel also. He does a great job. Um, but yeah, I mean, there are other, you know, people that do the, what I do. There are not that many, actually, that just do pretty much laptops, although ones you can really trust, right, that are not paid. Um, so it's kind of hard to find. But I would love to collab. Uh, not a bad idea. I'm always open to it. What is the retail price? Uh, we already talked that. It's the twenty-seven twenty-nine, I believe. 90 watt power adapter. Are we getting dedicated GPU on this? No. And I'm kind of surprised the way they sent that. Uh, maybe it will just charge quicker. I don't know. There must be a reason why Dell sent that. I mean, it will charge. It's got 30 more watts. So I would imagine it will charge a little bit faster. Uh, but the standard watt that comes with it, the standard charger uh, is 60 watts. And we have it in the box over there. But Hold on. I mean, look at this. So that's a big difference. I mean, that's a, you can see here, that's a huge difference. And of course, this has a little bit longer, double the size. So I'd like to travel with this one. This one will charge faster, I would imagine, 60 versus 90. I mean, this is not terrible, but this is a lot more portable. But of course, you have to, you'd have to account for this and this. So it just comes down to how much do you want to take with you. That would be honestly bring out the great and informative. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. So those are the power chargers. I, I'm I'm kind of curious why this doesn't have a dedicated discrete GPU. Why you know is it necessary? I don't know. There must be a reason why they sent it. Maybe I should read the notes better. Let me see. I mean, I'll, I'll take. I'll, I'll. I'll speak to my contact at Dell. So, according to what they sent me, so this production system for the Dell two one already. Blah blah blah. Let me just see if he says anything about the ninety watts. I don't know. It's very interesting. Oh, included is the use of a 90 watt power adapter for fast charging to go along with your 60 watt adapter. Ah, so this is for, like I said, this is for the faster charging. That's why they sent it. I just read my, uh, the PR person, what they, reason why they sent that. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good to hear. All right, Tech Realm. Good to see you. And I think we're at our limit as well. So people, uh, I want to thank everybody. Uh, this was a really good live stream. We're now at an hour, 33 minutes. It's time to say nighty nighty. So I got a lot more work to do, believe it or not. <laughs> but uh, we do have a lot more coming up and you never know. Make sure you are subscribed. Hit that sub, uh, make sure you hit the notification bell because I can do this at any time, at any moment because I can go live. So that's a threat, people. That's a threat. Anyway, I'll see you. Good to, bye, Nadine. Good to see Tech Realm again. Good to see William and everybody. See you all next time in the next video, people, or maybe even live stream. Until then, have a good night. Bye-bye.